The Australian cattle dog is an extremely intelligent, active, and sturdy dog breed. There are top 10 interesting facts about Australian cattle dog. 1. Other names. The Australian cattle dog is also known as the Australian healer, blue healer, the Queensland healer, and the red healer. 2. Origin. The precursors to the modern Australian cattle dog were first introduced by an Englishman, Thomas Simpson Hall in around 1840. Hall's family had numerous cattle stations spread over many areas, and he needed to herd thousands of cattle over many miles every day. The Australian dogs were incapable of achieving this task. The colonial dogs, known as Smithfields, were not very useful either. They belonged to breeds designed to herd sheep over short distances. Hall tried to remedy this problem by importing several cattle droving dogs from his home county of Northumberland. After having limited success with the British breeds, he then bred the imported dogs with an Australian wild dog breed known as the Dingo. 3. Appearance. The Blue Heeler has a compact body that is sturdy and has well developed muscles. This body structure gives the dog agility and strength. The body should be slightly longer than it is tall. The ratio of height, till the withers, to the length, from breastbone to rear, must be about 9-10. The eyes of this dog are dark brown in color and ovular shaped. The skull is broad. The ears are wide set, small to medium sized, and must be upright when the dog is alert. The muzzle is medium sized. The tail is set neither too high nor too low, and is slightly curved. 4. Unwanted herding. Australian cattle dogs are bred to herd, so it's only natural for them to look for things in the home they can corral when cows aren't an option. They need to be kept busy, or the dogs will get restless and look for their own activities, like digging or tearing at furniture. In the field, Aussies herd by nipping at their targets, so they have a natural tendency to bite, even in play. 5. Temperament. This breed is not a pack dog and prefers to be independent, although it can socialize with other dogs if taught from an early age. The Blue Heeler is an independent, intelligent, and hard-working dog. Due to its sharp and alert mind and high levels of energy, it needs to be engaged in some task and needs to be given a job to do. It is good at obedience training, and hence, it needs mental and physical activity like learning training commands and tricks, going for runs, etc. A bored dog may resort to barking, and may even experience behavior problems. 6. White Puppies Australian cattle dog pups are born completely white. It is believed this may come from the Dalmatian in their bloodline, another breed whose pups are also born totally white. It can take a number of weeks but eventually their red or blue coat coloring will emerge. 7. Survivors. In 2009, an Australian cattle dog named Sophie lived through the ultimate canine survival tale. While on a boat with her family off the coast of Queensland, Australia, the dog was thrown off when the craft hit a rough wave. The resilient pup swam five miles back to shore and ended up on St. Bees Island, an island inhabited mostly by wild horses. Sophie managed to stay alive by hunting feral goats. Eventually she was nabbed by a ranger and reunited with her family. 8. Exercise. This breed requires a lot of exercise. A short stroll and spending some time in the park playing fetch will not suffice. It needs long, brisk walks. Jogs are better, and this dog makes an excellent jogging companion. It is not suited for apartment living, rather it needs a big yard to run around. It does better in a rural setting than in a city or urban area. 9. Coat the outdoorsy dogs come in two colors, red and blue. The coats can either be speckled or mottled. Speckled coats are light spots on a dark background, while mottled are the inverse. Regardless of color or pattern, all the dogs have water-resistant double coats. The raincoat like fur allows water to bead and glide right off, keeping the pup mostly dry and happy. 10. Grooming. The coat of this dog protects it from both hot and cold weather. 
The coat is easy to maintain and requires only occasional grooming with a bristle brush, one with strong bristles, not soft ones. It is recommended not to bathe this dog unless it is absolutely necessary. Shedding occurs twice a year. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel.